The one thing about these that are a little bit dangerous is because yes, it has the fins, but it still needs time to travel up to stabilize itself. And because whistle is a lot faster than black powder, it, it's kind of dangerous. It'll take off crooked or something. So I'm going to use this sparkler stick. I just pretty much lit it up so I can stabilize this guy. The last time I did it without a stick, the whistle rocket took off at an angle and it was really fast. You can't really track it because it's so fast. So you have to be careful so you don't hit anything. Um, but when I did use a rocket stick, it actually stabilized pretty nicely and it went straight. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys before, you know, anybody decides that they're gonna do, you know, a, uh, a whistle rocket with no stabilization stick because it is very dangerous to not use one. Once the rocket gets its speed and it stabilizes straight, it'll go straight up. I gotta get back to this one. It's freaking dangerous. So that thing went up very high. As you can see there, the rocket with fins travels straight versus it just taking off at an angle. So this just proves that it is actually a good idea to have a rocket stick. It went up pretty high in the air and nice little report. You can see that nice smoke up there. As far as height, that's probably a good 200 feet maybe. So it went up pretty high. And that's a 5 16 so if you were to make a half inch or a 5 8 whistle, it actually go, you know, go up a lot higher than that. But just wanted to show you guys a real quick video on the whistle rocket. And hope you guys enjoy that. And I appreciate y'all for watching. And hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Until the next one.